Hey everyone, I was going to go to bed, but I remembered something that I wanted to get out there and talk about uh, before I did. And so with that, I am back to talk about it because I, I think it's something that should be discussed and noted. It has not been uh, to date, you know, no one's talked about it, okay? And you would say, what is that, Zinni? Well, it's this. Uh, in This is something I'm surprised people haven't brought up, but I'm not waiting for anybody. I'm bringing it up. Uh, because it should be brought up. And it's that uh, Oakland Raiders owner, Mark Bedane, in a, a rant. Uh, and it has to be called a rant, purely a rant that he made um, with respect to uh, uh, T. Martin and the Rooney Rule, okay? He was reported to have said this, and I'm <clears throat> going to clear my throat and make sure that I absolutely report this as it was said. In his rant to SL Price in MMQB, which is Monday Morning Quarterback, Oakland Raiders owner Mark Davis was reported to have said, which has to be set up by Price's paragraph, uh, though... It was, and this is Price's paragraph setting it up, though it was officially affirmed that Oakland had complied with the Rooney Rule by first interviewing USC offensive coordinator T. Martin and Raiders assistant Bobby Johnson. It was clear that both minority candidates, both black candidates, were called in for form's sake. Asked later, if lacking Gruden, he, Davis, would have fired Del Rio, Davis said, I don't see how I could have, to spend $20 million, and on top of that, hire T. Martin? No. What I would have done is probably brought in a president, somebody with X's and O's ability to work with Jack, and I would have gotten some more competent coordinators. Now, the coordinator story we know but <laughs> he said right here and I quote I quote he said I probably would have brought in a president somebody with X's and O's ability now consider that what did he mean the Oakland Raiders current team president is none other than Mark Bedane and look Mark Bedane is not an X's and O's guy how do I know because I was at the NFL owners fall league meeting and I had an idea regarding Marshawn Lynch, which involved, and I've talked about it here before, using wider line splits and emphasizing the I formation. So Mark was walking by and I said, hey, Mark, how you doing? I shook hands with him. I said, hey, Mark, I got an idea. It involves, it actually, it's a, a football play, and he stopped me and said, oh, football? And he goes, you know, oh, football. And said words to the effect of, that's not my area, but he did stop and listen to it. And I said, hey, pass this on, okay? Um, and I explained it to him, and, you know, he passed it on. Well, he, I, well excuse me, I, wait, I don't know that he passed it on. I assume that he passed it on because he was courteous enough to listen. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But... What I took away from that initial, the initial part of the conversation is that Mark thinks, hey, football operations, that's not my entire, it's business. Like relocation. Because when I said I ha have an idea, he thought I referred to, I was referring to Mark to Las Vegas because I've come up with stadium ideas before, right? But I was talking about football. I was talking about football. So here now, Mark Davis is saying, hey, you know what? This, um, in the context of his rant to S.L. Price, he says, and I quote, and it's hard to let this go. He says, look, he says that I'll probably get a president. 
He could have said a special assistant or an exec, but he said president. And he said this to a scribe, a writer, who then faithfully, presumably dutifully, put it right in black and white online for everybody to see. <laughs> in an article about John Gruden. Wow. So someone follow up, you know, uh, other than me. I'm going to, I mean, what's going on that Mark Davis would throw his team president, Mark Bedane, under the bus so surreptitiously like that? Mark Bedane has a tough job. He has the tough job of running the football team and then stewarding a relocation from Oakland to Las Vegas. Oh, and by the way, building a new stadium. Because you can relocate to someone and maybe they already have a stadium and you don't have to worry about building it, right? Not the case. Mark Bedane has a tough job and he has handled it, in my estimation, admirable, admirably well. Okay? Admirably well. And... I think Mark Davis should sing his praises whenever he gets the chance. But to say this, even if maybe Davis didn't mean it, even if he meant maybe I need two presidents, you know, business side and a football side, okay, fine. Say that. But don't just run off at the mouth, which is essentially what he did, and throw Mark Bedane under the bus on top of saying basically that with respect to T. Martin, well, you know, I only, only talk to him and the other guy because they're black and the league says I have to. I don't want to hire him. Jeez. You know? I wanted to get that out there before I go to bed. Now, I'm going to bed. All right, I'll see you guys later. Take care.